Hello friends. Um, I'm just showing what I'm doing for the methane problem in the house. So over the last, it's very cold outside, and over the last three days I've had a headache every morning and most of the day until I leave the house. And, this, and then I've had little bouts of nausea when the furnace has been on, and so I think that's picking up the methane from the basement where it would settle shooting it all over the house and then when it goes off, the furnace goes off, I have little bouts of nausea. Well, this morning I woke up with severe nausea, been fighting it all day, um, headache, brain fog, and then when I, I was like, it has to be the methane. And when I went, was started to go down the, oh, and, um, when I started to go down the stairs, um, I started having ringing in my right ear and then in the night when um, the furnace would go off, I'd wake up breathing heavy and have heart palpitations. Um, that happened several times in the night and I also had very bad muscle aches um, in my larger joints. And so I'm pretty sure that just when the house is closed off and it's cold outside, that um, I, it's causing these symptoms because this has been going on for years now. So um, what I did was in the winter, summertime I have the swamp cooler um, so I t opened up the windows on the end of the house and I put um, fans I had to put something to keep it standing up and <laughs> just still working on the logs in the backyard <laughs> I can't seem to finish things uh, almost done that's kind of going to be done tomorrow I've got somebody coming with a chainsaw anyway, as an aside so then I set up um, fans in strategic places. Turn some lights on. Um, so that's shooting. Gosh, it looks like it's hardly going around. It's going around faster than that. Um, to send the poisonous air out of the house. Um, and I wanted to show you what I did trying to keep it in the basement. So I closed off the bathroom where I think it's coming in. Well, I'm sure it's coming in. I can hear it glugging. Um, and I put towels um, over the in the doorways, and then I also put um, a robe over the floor um, vent or drain, so that it wasn't couldn't come up from there. And this is the toilet that it's glugging in, and um, it's been what two weeks or so since somebody's flushed it, and you can see it's down at least a half an inch. If you can see that, the water um, evaporates very quickly with the glugging. And then I tried to take some pictures of this. I don't know if you can see it in here or not, but there's, there. okay, so right where that light is, um, you can see there's like a, a, something on top of the water, okay? So that is all over in the toilet. I don't, but the lighting is such that I don't think with this camera you'll be able to see it. You have to have the light right behind it to see it. So let's see if I can get the light reflecting in a better way. Um, see right there with that light, you can kind of see it. But then if you go over here, there's a much larger swirls of it. And if I swirl it, it will look like purple gas type stuff on there and then when I looked closer you can uh, I wish you could see let's try this um, get more light in there I don't think it's gonna show um, see if I can show it but there are really um, pockets of it okay see so right where that left light is there's a, a like a big loop right there you can kind of see it when I move the, the camera and the light. So that's there and then there's actually a couple underneath the surface a little bit that I had not noticed before. So um, I'm sure that's where it's coming from because I can hear it glug glugging. But I wanted to show how I've kind of kind of tried to keep it from coming out. <laughs> so at night I close all the doors down here push that underneath and then I turn the fans on in the bathrooms upstairs. I have two bathrooms upstairs. I'm going to show you in here as well. So I've got ah, shoot. So I've got the something covering that as well. But 
the problem I have is I have a like a laundry chute that um, I think it can rise up and, and get up in the upstairs. But I think the furnace in the wintertime is what the bigger problem shooting it up the stairs. So anyway, I close those doors and then I turn the bathroom fans on upstairs and keep my door open. But the last couple nights I've forgotten and I closed my bedroom door and I have felt much worse and the furnace has been going off a ton. So anyway, I just wanted to show that's how I'm clear. And then I've opened windows all over the upstairs to try and draw the air to the outside. So, um, and I'm super, super tired. Like I just walked downstairs and back up. I didn't do anything and I'm exhausted. I just, the air, I'm not getting oxygen into my system. Um, and I'm sure that's the ear ringing and the muscle cramping and the dehydration. Um, let me see if I can show you the dehydration on my hands. Let's see. That is what they're like all the time. Can you see that? <laughs> it's like, um, hopefully you can see the and it cracks. So I know when the methane's worse as, as well because I have cracks. Like, look at that. I look like a 120 year old person. Um, and then the cracks in my heels get worse and I can barely walk when I get out of bed. So I can tell when it's been a bad night with methane because uh, my hands are cracked and dry like this. And I, I've put lotion on them several times already today. And it just doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter how much water I drink. And that's one of the symptoms of methane poisoning. So I just wanted to show how I'm trying to get it out of the house. I have called a plumber who is coming. Um, his camera was in the mail getting fixed. So it should be in the next week, he said. Um, and he's going to go down through the sewer vent and see if he can find where the blockage is and what's causing it and I can get it fixed. But to get, get and I have, as, as soon as I started running the fans and, um, sorry, it's turning sideways. As soon as I ever started running the fans, um, the nausea lessened and the ringing in the ears stopped and um, I started feeling a little bit more clear-headed and having a little bit more energy that I wanted to do something, but as soon as I start to do something, I can't get enough air. I'm just so tired. So all I want to do is just sit, but I don't like to sit in the house because it's toxic. So I usually run errands around this time in the afternoon just to get out of the house. So um, I will probably do that again. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share. That's how I am clearing out the house in the winter until I can get it fixed permanently. But um, you can clearly see the toilet lower. You can see that there's something floating on the surface of the toilet. Sometimes it's actually really purpley and um, rainbowy, and I have that in another post. But um, anyway, hopefully, hopefully this helps somebody else, um, and they can figure out their problems too. I've already had two people contact me with my other videos and, and share that they have noticed the same symptoms and. So hopefully it will help people, but I just wanted to share this part to show you how you can clear it out um, a little bit anyway and get the house cleared out so that you can, you know, deal with it until you can get it fixed. So check out my blog, thesecretisgratitude.com, and I'll show pictures and um, link um, at the end of this video to the other videos that I have about this, and hopefully I'll be able to do a final video um, post once I can figure it out. So thanks for watching and have a blessed day.